How God dealt with billionaires who queried me over their sight. Pastor Adeboye speaks. The General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, ILCCG Pastor Enoch Adeboye has disclosed how God dealt with some billionaires who questioned his accountability over their fights. Pastor Deboye disclosed that four billionaires from one of the branches of RCCG had written to him the money to know how the ministry spent their tight. Addressing his members, Pastor Deboye disclosed that God punished the brand as most of the members started suffering in their businesses and their contracts were being cancelled. He said the tithe that was coming from his family was hefty. The tithe that was coming from this family was hefty. All of a sudden, a handful of the big men wrote to me and said, Every month you must give us an account of how you are spending our tithe. I said, Okay. They are asking what they are asking for is all right. They are simply asking for transparency. Nothing is wrong with that. I said, However, I have gone through the Bible. I have not seen anywhere where God spoke to Moses and said, Every month you must give an account of the tithe of the children of Israel to them. So I said, all right, I will do two things. Number one, I'll prepare a detailed account of how your money is spent, including if we buy a bottle of Coke for our first timers. I will put it in the file every month. When you people come for the Holy Ghost service, that file will be on the table. I won't give it to you. I will put it on the table. Anyone who wants to see it can go and read it. But make sure you wait till I've left the room because every day we are doing on earth is being recorded in heaven. I don't want my God to say you are the one that handed it over to them. And you are there when you are reading. And I did it. Number two, I told the treasurer, from now on, any time that came from this family, do not add it to the rest. Put it aside. Let me find out if the God who sent me can run this church without these people's contributions. So, for two separate years, every cobalt that came from this family was kept in a separate account. It was when Abu Abba came from Ibadan. I sent him there and then... And then after he had been in the church for some months, he came to me. He said, the people you asked me to go and join are complaining that things are not going well. And they have found out that they offended me. And that is why their contacts are being cancelled. And all manner of things are happening. I said, we're not quarreling. And God knows I wasn't quarreling. I just ignore it. He then said, when you knew, when you knew this was a problem, why did you send me there? I said, I didn't know anything was happening. I just want to know how gracious God can be to me. Then we reconciled. It wasn't everybody that offended me. It was a handful of people who thought that they were clever than God and brought problems to everybody. It will interest you to know that every one of those involved in that group is no longer in the church and they are not where they ought to be. Let me just put it like that. Well, um, I don't know, but I'm going to chip it in. Number one, accountability is supposed to be everybody's watchword. Just listen to me. Don't crucify me yet. But it is wrong for you to come out as because you give tight to the church. You want to know how it is spent. That means that you know they give tight to God. Because giving tight is a godly, is a godly, uh, what's the God command? And they don't put a uh, gun for your head. Don't be at gunpoint. Do you understand? They are not saying you must give it to whether you are alive. But they are not alive. You must give it out. Do you understand? Nobody is coming to say that at all. Do you understand? Nobody. I repeat. At the end of at the end of everything. All right, everything that is going on, like I said, tight is not, how am I going to put it? It's not, it's not the, at least, it's not something that you give and you start telling somebody, give me account. No, tight is something that you give and, now God, now you give her. You understand me? And like I said, they do not put God on your head. It is not a do or die affair that, do, 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 you must give. Oh. I mean, I can't tell you the truth. God, no put them saying that. Do, 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 you must give. There's nothing that even God will do to them. Tell you, do, 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 you must do this thing. No, 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 no. Nothing. You know, go put, now you go decide by yourself. Hmm? In one word, 
your God, not the loving one, they buy punish them because tithing to the church is the only way to worship your God, even if they may not care to assist those less fortunate around them, including their parents. Christian financial support and volunteering is far beyond what you have packed into the heads of your gullible and spiritual infant followers. No wonder private jet is the, is the in thing for you and your ilks. Are you among those Christ said he would deny even knowing them? Search for the truth before it's too late, my brother. I think you don't get the 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 you're not reading it, or I don't know, maybe you're not reading it with an open mind. Nine, he came outside to say some people gave tight and they came in to demand how their tight is being used. He did not say he told them to always bring their tight. These people are always giving their tight. There are two different things here in the story. They are making it sound like saying you must give tight. If they not say, you not force them to give the tithe. And like I said, it is not by force. Tithing is not by force. Giving to, giving to the church or giving to the Lord, it is not by force. Do you understand me? And because it is not by force, you are not supposed to give and you are coming out to say you want accountability immediately. You are not supposed to say that at all. At all. You are not. All right. God will never deal with anybody. He's a God of love and not of hate. He's coercing people to pay tithes. Tithes can be given to the poor, the widow, and to help society. Not to make that the Jew and pastors Nigerians make these people stop to the deceive owner. Like I said, there is no way I read that Pastor Adiboyi came out and said they must pay their tithe. There is no way. It is not by force. Okay. But American government pay tithes to God in church every year. Did the Bible say that it should be used to care for the society, Mr. Tuno? Whatever, like I said, whatever you do, it there's nothing in this life. Christianity is not all about if you like, you do. If you like, you know the body thing is if you do consequences. If you know do, now you go face the consequences. You cannot run away from it. That is Christianity for you. We are not going to be forced to do anything. Anything. But the thing we say, you do, you know do, everything, the ball is in your cut. You don't need it at all at this very critical moment, sir. Okay? What is the answer to the Nigerian problem every time tight? Please, sir, can you go tell me in the New Testament that Paul and other apostles paid tight away Jesus disciples Peter from the earnings and uh, tight in the church is to meant for a lot of things from helping the needy to use for the church program evangelical purposes, purposes missionary work peer better of church workers who are working in the church pastors welfare program organization to renovation and replacement of maybe church my me i'm saying if you pay tight to church now god now you to make you pay tight you obeying god in paying the tight you don't come and start asking him, asking people in charge of the church to give you a rundown. Do you understand? Uh -huh. You know, it makes sense. You know, go away for you at all. All right, so on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.